Welcome everyone to Dirk Yeager. My name is Melody. This is Arlo. Super tired after a day of walking around on Shababa. And today we're doing a beautiful wake up and flow class. So a beautiful 15 minute class to get us moving, get our blood pumping, get us energized and excited for the day ahead. So we're gonna start in standing, come to the top of your mat, ground down through your big toes, spread your little toes, have your palms wide, and just start to ground down to your mat and find your connection to the rise and fall of your breath. Inhale, fill the belly, the ribs, the collarbones. And exhale, release. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And release. We'll take one big arm circle all together, up overhead, fingertips touch. Back to heart center. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And one more big arm circle up overhead. Fingertips touch. And we'll start our flow. Exhale. Fold forward. Hinge at the hips. Take the hands wide. And bring them down to the ground or to your shins. Inhale, we'll slide our hands up to the tops of our knees, push away, halfway lift, straight spine from the tailbone to the crown of the head. And exhale, fold forward, sending the crown of the head back towards the earth. We'll all bend our knees generously, plant our hands and step one foot back, and then the other. We will come into half plank for the first flow of the day. Sending our shoulders above our wrists, really gripping them out with all five fingers, finding a nice straight spine. And exhale, lowering down the chest. Elbows are into the side body, chunk, chaturanga. Untuck the toes, press into the hips. The hands rise on up, cobra. And exhale, lower down. We'll push into our hands and our hips towards our heels. Forehead touches the earth, coming into our child's pose. And when we're ready, we're going to rise on up into our tabletop position. And just take a little cat cow here. So make sure our knees are underneath our hips. Our wrists are underneath our shoulders. Nice straight spine. Drop the belly. Open up the chest cow. And exhale to cat. Inhale to cat. And exhale to cat. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. When ready, come back to neutral. Tuck the toes under, press into all five fingers, all five toes, and send the hips up and away into our downward facing dog. Inhale, trying to lengthen the spine a little bit, sending the chest towards the thighs, opening up, squeezing the biceps in towards the ears, and exhale, see if you can let the heels drop. Inhale, and exhale. And our next inhale, bend our knees, look towards our hands, pull back, step, or jump forward into your forward fold. Inhale, we'll rise it up into halfway lift, hands to the tops of the knees, straight spine. And exhale, fold forward, my friends. Bend our knees generously here. Really activate the lower belly. Roll on up, vertebra by vertebra. Big arm circle up overhead, fingertips touch. And back to heart center. Inhale, I'll take one big arm circle up overhead, fingertips touch once more. And exhale, we're going to take the elbows wide, fingertips up. Inhale, rise the fingertips high, reach towards the sky. And exhale, send the elbows wide, fingertips up. Inhale. And exhale, open up the chest, cactus arms. Inhale. And exhale. Now we might actually start to send the hands back behind us, palms facing up. So beautiful. We already release the hands beside the body. We'll take one big arm circle up overhead, fingertips touch, and we'll flow again. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come on up, halfway lift, tops of the knees or tops of the fingertips. And exhale, fold 
bend our knees generously, plant our hands. Now come back to half or full plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Untuck the toes, press into the hands, come up into cobra. And exhale, lower. Make our way into child's pose, touch the forehead towards the earth. And then come on up into our tabletop position once more. So knees and hips are in alignment, wrists and shoulders are in alignment, spine is long. Press into that left hand, rise our right hand up high, open. And exhale, we're going to thread the needle, reach that right hand underneath our left armpit, placing it on the ground. Now we're going to flow dynamically here, so push into that left hand again, rise the right hand high. And exhale, our gaze follows our fingertips. Inhale, reach that hand high, gaze follows those fingertips, looking up to the sky. And exhale, revolve. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more, reach high. Open, 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 place that hand back down, tuck the toes and send the hips up into your downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. When we're ready, bend our knees, look towards our hands, pull back, step or jump up into our forward fold. Inhale, come on up, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Now really ground down through our feet. Push into these big toes. Activate these kneecaps. Hollow out the lower belly. Rise on up. Big arm circle up overhead. Fingertips touch. And back to heart center. Inhale, big arm circle up overhead. Fingertips touch. And exhale, elbows wide. Fingertips up, cactus. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reach high, and exhale, open up our heart. Inhale, and exhale. Now send our fingertips back, palms facing up if that feels good for you. Send the hands beside the body, big arm circle up overhead, fingertips touch. And exhale, we're going to flow for a third time, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, wherever feels good for you. And exhale, fold, bend the knees, plant the hands, step back to plank or half plank. Lower down, chaturanga, untuck the toes, press into the hips, and hands come up into your cobra. And exhale, lower. Make your way into your child's pose in your own time. Forehead touches the earth, then rise and up into your tabletop position. So we're going to press into our right hand now, rise our left hand high and we know what we're doing. Thread the needle, gaze follows the fingers, lower on our exhale. Inhale, rise on up. And exhale. Inhale, open. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale, and exhale, and inhale, reach high, open up, and place that hand down, tuck the toes, squeeze the biceps in towards one another, and send the shoulder blades down the back, find that activation in the spine, and the hips go up and away. Two breaths here, inhale, and exhale, inhale. And exhale. Now I have a couple of options for you. You can come down onto your knees into tabletop or we can kick this right heel high, holding it here. And then we're all going to bring our knee and our foot to the outside of our right hand. So step it through however we can. If we're in tabletop, get it here. If we're up, get it here. And then we're gently, with grace, going to step our left foot to the outside of our left hand. So coming into a wide-legged fold forward here. Inhale, find length in the spine and fold. Clasp the fingers together and just have like a pointer finger here. So a gun type pose. We're going to inhale, sweep our hips back and our hands forward, sinking into a wide-legged chair. Shoulder blades are down the back. And exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep on up. 
So good, ground down, lift the toe, see if you can put the weight into the heels. Feel the thighs activating. And exhale, fold. You got this, inhale. And exhale, fold. Inhale. And exhale, fold. Inhale, we're gonna rise on up here and hold for five. Four, three, two, one, and fold forward, my friends. Wriggle your feet in, hip distance apart, bend the knees generously, and fold a little bit deeper. You might be able to grab the backs of the shins or even wrap your peace fingers, your two pointer fingers, around your big toes, pulling your spine longer towards the ground. Find a length on your inhale. And exhale, fold. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, once more. And fold. We're going to come up halfway left, hands to the tops of the knees or tops of the fingers, your choice. And fold. Bend down knees generously, roll on up. Big arm circle up overhead, fingertips touch. And back to heart center. Inhale, big arm circle up overhead, fingertips touch. Exhale, elbows wide, fingers up. Inhale. And exhale. We're keeping our pelvis even when we do this. We're not curving the lower back, so tuck the hips under. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, send the hands back behind you, open up the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together, reach, take the hands back beside the body, big arm circle up overhead, fingertips touch, exhale, fold forward, inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold, bend the knees generously, plant our hands, I'm going to go through our flow, plank, chaturanga. Cobra, or you might even come up into Upward Facing Dog if your body feels warm now. Make your way into your child's pose. Touch the forehead towards the earth super gently. Press into the toes, the hands, and we're going to make our way up into our Downward Facing Dog. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Now options, you can come into your tabletop position here to get this left foot forward. Or you can press into the right foot, lift the left heel high. And we're all going to get this left foot to the outside of our left hand. So just get here however you can. And then with grace, activate the core. Step the right foot up. Now bend our knees generously so they're not tracking in, they're out. In line with our ankles, we're going to interlace our fingers. Inhale, sweep the hips back, the hands forward. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, sweep on up. I'm gonna hold here for five, four, three, two, one, and fold forward. Wriggle our feet in, hip distance apart, bend the knees generously, really just savor the sensation of the fold. You might grab the toes, you might just wrap the arms around the calves, just get in here gently, still feeling the length in the lower back. If you feel like you're compressing here, bend your knees more. Find where it feels good. And when we're ready, inhale or come up, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Bend our knees, roll on up. Big arm circle. Up overhead, fingertips touch. And back to heart center. And just breathe here for a moment. Feel yourself wake up. Feel the energy in the body. We've got some movement, we've got some heat going. Just observe this. Then we're going to take inhale, one big arm circle up overhead, fingertips touch. And exhale, open up our elbows once more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. 
And exhale, open up the elbows, send the hands back, so nice. And release. Now we're gonna come into a lovely balanced pose here. We're going to plant down into our left foot, really ground down through all four corners and just take some time to Notice what's going on here. Are we sticking our hip out automatically when we do that? Are we putting more weight into our big toe or our back heel? Just observe and really grip the mat with our toes. And I want you to start to tuck your pelvis under. So place your hand on your hip and feel that pelvis nice and even. So it's going up and down. We're not tilting our hips back or too far forward. So find that, activate this glute, and then you'll feel the stability start to come to that side. So if you just wanna play with this sensation, do that. It's so strengthening just by focusing and having in an intention. What our other leg does, that's just bonus stuff. So you can just focus here, or we can start to lift our right toes up. I should have mirrored you, but I'm not, so we're going opposite sides. There we go, so lift our right toes up and open this knee out. So we're finding a nice opening in the other hip if we want that a bit more. So we're coming into our tree pose now. We can stay here, or we can place this foot on our calf. Or if we're feeling like we have opening in that hip, we're gonna place it on our thigh. So we're going above or below our knee. We really wanna practice a hymns here, a hymns here, guys. So it's do no harm to ourselves or others. So that means finding your own yoga practice. What I'm doing is for my body, your body is different. So cherish that, nourish that, find what works for you and what makes you feel good. So ground down, your hands might come to heart center if that feels good for you. Find length and just soften. Find that place of ease in the balance. It's not always clenching and holding on, it's often the softness where we can just sit to find that space, find that calm. If you're falling out and coming back in, it doesn't matter. It's just all a play. We might send the arms up overhead. We might take them wide, place them on the hips. We're going to lower down this leg, ground. Just give ourselves a little wriggle. Just notice any sensations that are coming up in the hips. And we're going to take the same on the other side. So ground down through our right foot, activate our kneecap, tuck our hip under and really focus on where we're distributing weight. So are we putting it into all into our big toe? Are we not putting any into our pinky toe? Are we putting all the weight into our heel? Just observe and notice the idiosyncrasies of the body. And when we're ready, when you feel straight and strong on this side, you might just practice the sensation, lift the left toes up, open that knee out and you might just enjoy this nice hip opening here. It's really good for our hip joints to do this. So you might just stay here. Or if you would like to come on, foot on the calf or the thigh. So a below or above our knee joint, protecting that joint. Really push into the thigh here. Find that support in the opposition here. So grow tall and soften. Grow tall. And stuff, and we might bring our hands to heart center if that feels good for you. Let's find that place of balance. Find that place of stillness and ease. Let's send our hands up overhead. We might take them wide, place them on our hips, and lower down that leg gently. Give ourselves a little wriggle, a little shake. Big arm circle up overhead, all together, fingertips touch, and we're going to fold forward once more, hinge at the hips. Inhale, halfway lift, whatever variation suits, and exhale, fold. Bend our knees generously, plant our hands, and go through our last flow. So plank, chaturanga, cobra, or upward facing dog. And make our way into our child's pose. Touch the forehead towards the earth and just soften and release. Take two deep breaths here, just finding our connection to the here and now. And already want to rise on up into our tabletop position once more. Wrists and shoulders, knees and ankles, spine long. Just take a little cat cow. Drop the belly, open up the chest. And exhale into cat. One more, inhale. 
and exhale. We're going to cross our ankles, roll our hips back and come into a seated position. So we're going to keep our legs crossed here and you might have one leg extended. You might have a, a cushion or a block underneath our hips. Find whatever feels good to have really nice length in the spine here. So get comfy. Now just notice what foot is forward or in front of the other foot. Find length. So we might have our hands beside us sending the shoulder blades back. We might have them on our knees. Find where it feels good to find length in the spine. And then with that straight spine, we're going to fold forward, keeping our tailbone grounded towards the earth. So we're not peeling our hips off the earth to fold. So find length and fold. And it might just be that intention, that millimeter folding, and you'll feel it in the hip that your foot, whatever foot is in front, you'll feel it in the same hip. So inhale, find length. And fold. Find length and see if you can soften and fold a little bit more. So we're coming to find a little bit more softness and release to let ourselves create space for all the new things that are coming today. We've energized our body, so just create some space in the body and the mind. Find a moment of silence before we Start all the busyness, start the tasks, start the to-do lists. Just have a little bit of gratitude. Fill this place of gratitude for the day ahead. Gratitude for all the things you have, for the people around you, for this beautiful breath. I'm grateful that you can take time to carve out this practice today. When you're ready, rise on up nice and gentle. And we're just going to swap feet. So bring the front foot towards the back. And if that leg's extended, just swap them around. Back foot to the front. And take your time to find that length in the shoulder blades on the back. Feel the beautiful openness in the chest here. And we're going to fold. You might be on the forearms, you might be on the fingertips, you might just keep your hands on your knees, find where it feels good here, grounding down that tailbone still so we're not lifting up, we're not compromising one area to try and look good or get into a pose that we think we should be in. So it's all about what we feel. Inhale, find that length and notice the sensation in that hip. Notice the sensation in the lower back and what's coming up for you with this movement. Just accept it. Often we're like, oh, I get so frustrated that my body's feeling this way and that. Um, maybe you get lower back pain or you have tight calves or your shoulders are stiff. And we get, we, t we put negative stories on ourselves. So I want you to wipe the slate clean of the negative stories this morning and allow yourself to just be. Accept what is so we can make way for something new so we can make way for the opportunities that are going to come our way today and we're ready we're going to rise on up bring our feet or uncross our legs bring our feet towards the ground and we're just going to simply roll onto our backs here nice and slow and just feel that lower back connect with the earth. We might bring our knees together really gently, sending the feet slightly wider than hip distance, really nourishing for our lower back. If you've got a lot of pain or twinging there, this is a really beautiful release that you can do in the morning or at night just to alleviate some of that tension. When ready, we'll walk our feet back into hip distance, bring one knee into the chest and then the other, and just give ourselves a little bit of a hug here. You might grab your hand, arms around your knees or you might just place your hands on your knees, find what feels good for your body and just take movements that feel intuitive to you. If your lower back's super, super twingy, you might just be still or you might take super gentle rocking motions. You might take your knees and figure eights. Just be super mindful in this moment and breathe. When we're ready, we're going to gently lower our feet down, find that length in the spine, and we're just going to windscreen wipe our knees side to side. So inhale, find length. And exhale, just lower your knees towards the right, gaze towards the left. Come back to center and out, inhale and exhale, just send them towards the left, gaze towards the right. 
inhale and exhale inhale and exhale come back to center and just send the legs long feel the body relax and just find your connection to your mat find your connection to your body and the rise and fall of your breath inhale feel the belly the ribs the collarbones and exhale release inhale and exhale inhale and exhale I'll give you a few moments of silence in your presence today just take time to be in the here and now And we're ready. So now hands up overhead, reach high, really savor the sensation, wriggle the fingers and toes, roll the wrists and ankles, and we'll make our way over onto a side that suits you using your arm as a pillow. In our own time, make our way up into seated, come into cross legged. Find that nice straight spine and we'll take one big arm circle all together, up overhead, fingertips touch. Back to heart center. Sending you lots of love and gratitude, beautiful yogis. Namaste. Mm -hmm.